Welcome back everyone. My name is Ashok and in this video, we will be starting our first session of Python. So in this video, what we will do is we will try to install an interpreter or a Python interpreter and we will try to write our programs. And also what we will do is we will try to install an IDE. IDE stands for Integrated Development Environment. So in this video series, we will be using PyCharm IDE and how do we verify whether Python is there or not in our system. Okay. So in order to verify whether Python is there in our system or not, you can just head over to your command prompt. And after this, you can type Python like this. Okay. And if you hit enter, and if you are seeing this kind of uh, directory structure, and uh, if you are not getting any Python 3.9 or any other uh, version, and a prompt that means that Python is not installed in your system. So currently in my system as well, Python is not there. So what I will do is I will first of all install Python interpreter. How to install Python interpreter? Let's see. Let me close this. Let's go to our favorite browser. I will use edge here. And what I will do now is I will just uh, type python.org. So this is the official website of Python. And after this, what you can do is you can just go here in downloads on Windows and click on this uh, download for Windows Python 3.9.5. So this is the latest version of Python. Okay, just click here. And now, as you can see, I have downloaded this. Okay. And after this, what I will do now is I will just click uh, close here. And the first thing that I will do is I will install uh, this Python interpreter. So how do we install it? So once uh, we head over to the downloads, uh, we can see here that uh, this is the Python interpreter. So what we need to do is we will have to just double click here. Okay. So after this, it will show you this kind of uh, setup wizard. Now what you have to do is just click on this add Python 3.92 path. Basically, it will be helpful when we will be uh, trying to run some program uh, minor program in uh, command prompt. So just don't think about it. Just click on this add Python 3.92 path and click on this install now. It will ask you whether you want to install or not. Click on yes. And after this, it will start installing. Now, once Python is installed, you will see this kind of setup for successful wizard. Click on this close. And after this, what you can do is go to your command prompt and you can type Python. Click on enter. Now here you can see Python 3.9.5 and the command prompt or in Linux you can call a shell or anything. So now what I will do is I will just to verify I will write some code. I will write 5 plus 5 and if I hit enter I think it will work. Oh I can see that it is working. So that means that Python is successfully installed in my system. Now what I can do is I will just close it here and that's how we can verify that Python is installed in our system and it is working perfectly fine. Now, the second thing is we will be installing an IDE. IDE stands for Integrated Development Environment. So how do we install it? And what are we installing in this video series? So in this video series, we will be installing PyCharm Community Edition Setup. Okay. So PyCharm is an IDE that we will be installing. Okay. So how to install PyCharm? Just type PyCharm. download and at the very first you can see this link which is https jetbrains.com pycharm download click on this link and after this uh, you will see this kind of interface so here you can see there are two versions of pycharm one is the professional version it is used for scientific and web python development and also you can use it for uh, uh, html javascript and sql support and uh, the only thing is it is a free trial. So I think after 30 days, you will have to pay if you want to use professional version of PyCharm. Now, if you want to use, uh, you know, free PyCharm, then you can use this community edition. So this is the one that I will be using in this video series. Just click on this download and it is free and open source. Okay. And now this will start downloading the PyCharm community edition setup. What I will do is I'll just click on this cancel button because I have already downloaded PyCharm in my system. Okay, so I'll just close these two. And now what I will do is 
I'll just click on this PyCharm Community Edition setup because uh, I had already downloaded this one. I'll double click on this and it will ask me whether you want to install or not. Click on yes. And after this, uh, you can see this kind of edition setup that you will see. Click on next here. And this is the default path where PyCharm will be installed. Click on next here. Now what I will do is I will just click on this 64-bit uh, launcher so that uh, a shortcut will be created in my desktop. And after this, I will click on this .py. And after this, what I will do is I will update the path variable. And if you click on this, uh, it will ask you to restart your uh, you know, system once uh, the setup uh, is completely installed. What I will do is I will just click on this add launches directory to the path. Click on next and after this click on install. And what it will do is it will try to install PyCharm community edition setup. Once this is done, I will be back. Now, as you can see here, PyCharm community edition setup is already installed. And you can see this is the launcher in my desktop. And it will ask you whether you want to reboot now. So here you have this reboot now and if you are uh, installing it for the first time just click on this reboot now and click finish but I am making a video so I will do this later I will reboot later and I will click on this finish button. Now what I will do is I will just click on this cancel here and uh, I will open my PyCharm for the first time. Now once you will open PyCharm for the first time this is how it will ask you whether you want to import PyCharm settings. Leave it default, do not import settings. Okay, so it will start my PyCharm IDE. And after this, what you will do is you will just uh, click on a new project. And here is the location where you want to save your project. So what I will do is I will just go to some directory. Let's say I will go into my D directory. Okay, and uh, what I will do is I will create a new folder here. I will write it as Python tutorial okay and I will click on OK so what it will do is after clicking OK so this will be my default path or the location where I will be creating my uh, files and click on this create once you click on this create you will see this kind of uh, interface so after this you will see this kind of tip of the day and what it will do is it will always uh, you know prompt uh, this kind of tips uh, every day whenever you open PyCharm. So what I will do is I don't want to see this kind of tips and I will click on this close. Okay. Now as you can see here this is the kind of interface that looks okay of PyCharm. Let me zoom this maximize. Now you can customize this PyCharm as well. Okay. So before that uh, what I will do is I will just uh, run a particular code. Okay. So I will just write a sample code that will print my name. So what I will do is I will use a print function. So this is a default inbuilt function that we get in Python. So what this does is it will print something on your console or the output. So what I will print here is I will print a string which says hello Ashu. Okay. So make sure that you are using this uh, string inside the braces or the brackets. Okay, and you can use here double quotes or single quote. Okay, so this is called as a string in Python and we will have a separate lecture on uh, string in another video. For now, just for testing, write this kind of code print hello Ashok. Okay, so what uh, this print does is it will print something on your console or the output. Now click on this play button so that uh, we can see what the output we are getting. Once you click on this play button, you can see this kind of hello Ashok. So if you are getting this kind of hello Ashok in your console or the output, that means that Python is successfully installed in your system and everything went fine and you were able to print output. Just write congratulations in the comment section below that you were able to run this program. Okay. And if you are getting some error, let me know in the comment section what error you are getting so that we can identify what can be the solution for this. Now what I will do is I will just customize my PyCharm. So you can customize your PyCharm as well. Let's go to file, click on settings here. Okay. So as you can see here, we have this appearance and behavior. So you can use a particular theme. You can use a light theme, IntelliJ light. It looks like this. You can use Windows 10 light. Also, you can use dark color. 
so i will be using darkula okay and after this what uh, i will do is uh, so you see this kind of words right file edit view navigate code and everything these words so what i will do is i will just in increase the size okay so what i will do is i will just increase it to 14 click on apply now you can see the size is now bigger than before right okay now what i will do is i will just uh, go to the editor and after this uh, you can see there is a font section here now what i want is see this kind of print hello ashok it's very small right you cannot uh, see properly okay so what i will do here is i will just uh, increase the size to 18 and if i hit apply notice this is now bigger okay and uh, what i will do is i will just click on okay okay so now i think this will be visible to you all okay let me know if you are facing any difficulty in the comment section and uh, that's it for this video guys we have installed our python interpreter and uh, we have installed pycharm we ran our first program so that printed uh, something in our console screen so we printed uh, hello and our name thank you so much for watching this video guys i hope this video was helpful for you everyone if you are new to my channel please hit that subscribe button press that bell icon so that you will get updates whenever i post a new video and uh, i will see you in the next video so till then bye bye take care